What's up, go-getters? It's your boy, Coach Twin, and I'm back with another video just to, you know, log my daily trading journey. And today was a big, y'all see the background? It's a big red day today. Um, so let me just walk you through here, like what I traded today, and I'm gonna, you know, tell you my stories and my psychology of what was happening and how I got myself to this point. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna blame other people. I'll get there when I, you know, I'll tell you like who I try to blame, and I realize, you know, it was on you, bro. It was on you. Just own it up, own up, you know what I mean? Pony up, it was you, you messed up, you done messed up. Um, so first of all, uh, let's look at here, DARE. All right, DARE was a swing trade overnight. I was just messing around. I was like up a lot yesterday and I felt confident and I was like, this one's gonna go up and it did. So if you look at my trade here, I bought in, you know, after hours and I waited it and waited it, it went down and it went up and I was in pro, you know, it was down and up, and I was like, eh, this one's gonna go up. And then it did, it popped, it popped to almost $4. And I was like, wow, it, it, I sold. So I made some money off of that. So if I'm looking at my overall, looking at my overall gains here from custom, and I click okay, today I made 169 off of this. So I started off in the green, right early in the morning. So I was like, yes, let's go. And then I went and tried to trade these right here. Let me just go down to the bottom, okay? <sighs> I was first trying to trade um, OBLN, all right? I was, here's my trades today. So I bought 10 shares and uh, you know, I was uh, shorting it. I don't even know why I bought 10 shares. Anyways, this is 120. Is it today 120? Yeah, today is 120. So I don't even know why I bought 10 shares. But maybe it's because I was feeling confident and I sold the 10 shares. I mean, I bought a thousand shares. Oh, I accidentally bought 10 shares. Okay. <laughs> and then I bought a thousand shares and then I sold and I, of course, made a profit here, you know, and then I bought, um, I bought like 2,268. I have no clue why I even bought that or how I even bought that. And then I bought in 7,000. I sold for a profit right there. And then I had this and I didn't know I had it. And I was like, well, why is this, why is this, um, why is this still here? And I had to sell it a lot. So I was already kind of, the psychology was already kind of messed up right there because I was demoing to my student. So I was down, but it's okay. You know, your boy came back up and uh, I traded 7,000 shares again. And then I came up and then, you know, I should have just stopped. And then I bought in 2,000 shares and then Oh man, that was a nice profit right there. You guys see that 420 to 475. I should have just stopped. You know, I should have just stopped, but I didn't because I was trying to offset another trade that I messed up on CLBS, I believe. Um, and so I was doing good and I was up in the positive, but then, uh, you know, and then I had this like this crazy trade right here where um, I was up. Oh, I forgot, but. I mean, like we, my students and I were watching my, me and I mean, it went up and I sold and I was in a profit. We were all good. Everyone's happy. And everyone saw me like just gain like a bunch of money. What the heck is this? Okay. I don't know who's writing me. Um, and your boy lost it back. So let me just show you here. Uh, so your boy got greedy because the FOMO hit. Because I mean, this thing went up to like 10 something. And look at this trade right here. Because I was down on the, I was up and I was down, I was up. Look at this trade right here. Look at this, 2,000 shares. I bought it at seven, uh, two, 978, 979 and I sold at 1038. That's when it like popped. So if you look right here, it, it literally just went like bloop. And I was like, let's go. <laughs> and I just sold right away. Um, and I was in a positive again, right? And I should have walked away because I was actually up $400. But this is what had happened. I had got greedy and uh, I wanted to trade this one, 10,000 shares. And I was doing well, you know? I bought and sold and I was just testing the water. I bought and I accidentally bought another 10,000 and I sold. So I was a little down, like, I don't know, two, three bucks or something like that because of, you know, commissions for, for your sales of your trade. And then I did a really good trade right here, which kind of sucked because like, all right, well, why did I only sell two shares? And then I was like freaking out. And so I had to type this number in <laughs> and then, and then it like popped up to 157. 
as soon as I sold, it popped up to 157. I was so mad at myself because I could have made, uh, let's see, five. That's that's five hundred dollars right there. Because every cent that moves is a hundred dollars. And so then I got greedy, and uh, you know I I sold. I bought 157. I sold 158, and I was like up up a hundred. I should have just walked away, but I didn't. What did I do? Wait for the cutback. And it cut back, and I was like, I think it's gonna go again. And this was you know during during a, whatchamacallit, um, power hour. It was right before going into after hours. And I, look at this, and I bought in and I was like, oh man, and then it just tanked. Like, it's, <laughs> if you look at the chart here, it just started tanking like right here, right there. And I was like, wow. So I, I have to hold and hope for a swing trade. And so I was like, it can't go that low, right? Because it's, you know, it's ranked number two for volume. And so it kept getting lower and lower and then it, it just and then it came back up and then it, and then it just kept getting lower and lower and lower again. So now your boy, if you look over here, your boy is down three thousand two hundred dollars. But I'm not worried. I'm gonna hold this one because if it comes back up a little bit, and I will sell at a profit. I mean, I will sell at a loss that is like you know maybe two or three hundred dollars. I'm praying. But uh, yeah, I thought this was gonna work out, but it didn't work out because my mentality was messed up. And let me just walk you through the whole process of what happened. Uh, and there's CLBR, right? CLBR was a loss too, right? Here, let me just show you right here. This was a realized loss, okay? This is a realized loss. I, I traded it and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get out and take a loss because this is what happened in the morning, all right? I was trading, um, OBLN and then I took the profit too early if I had held it for two more minutes because I was still holding class and then you know wifey came in she was like hey uh, you need to set your priorities because you know I was supposed to take care of my daughter and we were trading until seven from se I was supposed to stop at seven but then we traded we traded until like eight o'clock and uh, you know of course I've already pissed off wifey um, because I didn't do my duty as a dot as a dad because I was supposed to watch my daughter You know make her food and all that stuff wifey was doing it So I was like I'm gonna take advantage of this moment. And that's on me, you know, like I was selfish I'm not gonna lie, but I was teaching class. So I was like wifey can take care of my daughter and then she comes in like right about eight Let me just go. Let me just go find it for you right here. Um, and man, let me tell you I was so FOMO'd because this thing popped like if you look at this right here at this four four seventy five right here four twenty to four seventy five look at look at how far it went because it literally like jumped to five twenty in <laughs> in like two minutes after I stopped as soon as I I, I traded out I ended the class um, it it just took off actually it, it I didn't end the class it took off right before I ended the class and everyone was watching was like whoa could have made so much more money right so at that point you know I was already kind of like in my mind blaming wifey like look I could have made so much more money I could have made so much more money but what happened I got off I sold early because I had to go do my duties as a dad so I was kind of like mentally I was blaming her but in reality it was me you know what I mean like I should have done my part as a husband and as a father to um to just quit while I'm ahead and then go do my duties as a as a husband and a father but no what did I do I, I psychologically blamed wifey and then um and then I came back in on this trade because I was like look it, it just popped up to like seven dollars I mean it was six dollars and I was like and it was seven dollars I was like wow and it went to ten dollars and I was like dang I mean I should have quit while I was ahead so that's why I was I was up I was down I was up I was down and now I'm down again because this is why it happened. Because <laughs> your boy, the, the, the FOMO got me, you know, the FOMO got me. I got greedy. All right. Overall, I'm only down 591.78 because I actually made some money. Um, but this is what happened. After hours this is what I did. I tried to buy a thousand shares, you know, and um, I was going to let it ride. But then I saw the profit. And I was like, let me just take profit and get out. It didn't sell. Like it went to 867. I was trying to, eight, trying to sell at 866 with this random number right here because of partial fill during after hour. And so, and I, I keep letting it slip. And uh, if you look over here on the right, right here, that's that's how much I'm down right now, 1,500. But when I was up, I should have walked away. And I just wanted to give you that uh, piece of advice is, 
when you're trading and your state of mind is already messed up and i mean i was ahead and don't don't do it just just walk away with the small profits and be happy with it and don't go don't go blaming other people for your mistakes fomo definitely got me for sure and um greed you know got me and and then at some point i was kind of blaming my daughter too because she was kind of like you know bugging me the whole day and then i couldn't focus on trading and i was like you, you, you need to stop because t- today was her day to not have school and i was supposed to be the one you know basically being the teacher and i was trying to i did that we did homework got everything done we cleaned up and then i tried to trade while you know hoping she'll go play by herself and then she came and just all up in my ear like daddy this daddy that daddy why is it red daddy why is it green <laughs> and at that point i was like stop bugging me but so I blamed her, you know, I, I basically was like, it's her fault that I'm down and I made bad trades. It's not her fault. It's my fault because I didn't have my priorities straight. So if anything that you learned from me today from this video is when you're ahead, just quit. Be happy with your small um, gains, even if it's only a dollar or two, and just walk away because I didn't do that. I didn't follow my own rules because when I trade, that's what I tell, tell my students. And I, I was basically like trying to push myself when I shouldn't have. And so, you know, it's one of those red, red days where you just have to uh, accept it. Again, it's only like a, I'm only down like 700 something technically because I realized that loss. And I actually did make some money. Um, if you see here, I made this today. But then nothing to offset what I'm losing today. Uh, I made... You know some money off of dare right here so yeah it's uh it's a learning experience and uh we all go through this and i want to just you know remind you <laughs> if if you're going through this now with me um you know it's all good uh i will probably realize those losses tomorrow if they don't go well and uh, i'm gonna cut my losses and focus on what's forward not what's behind me i mean i'm still up like nine thousand dollars or so so i'm not i'm not worried um and i still own these stocks you know what i mean like i can bag hold for a long while if i need to um but we'll see if i if i just need to cut my loss remember and focus i'll do it all right so let me know if you guys have ever had this experience um are you going through right now (laughs) uh when have you had it and which which stock let me know in the comments down below i would appreciate it all right thank you so much for watching i appreciate you spending the time with me here and um, i hope you picked up something with the trading psychology and to not blame other people but yourself because you are the one who pulled the trigger on buying and selling stock there is no reason for you to blame other people all right so yeah uh that's it okay so don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh i'll Say goodbye, and for those of you who are new to the channel, just follow along, just get your hands ready, and then everybody else who's been around, here we go. Rock, paper, peace. Let's hang out again in the next video.